What's going on, Funko fans? Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another episode of Much Pops. In today's episode, everything was supposed to be nice and simple. It is a brand new month. We are currently in November, and you know what that means, guys. Another Pop in a Box mystery monthly subscription box. But something strange happened. A few days ago, I got this box from Pop in a Box, and then just yesterday, I got this box from Pop in a Box. What the heck is going on? I have no idea why we got two boxes, but if you're just as confused as I am, let's go ahead and crack into these things and see what the heck we got inside. All right, you guys, so like I said, we are gonna be opening up those two Pop in a Box boxes that I got in the mail. And I have no idea why they sent me two boxes. This has never happened before. Maybe you guys will recall from some previous Pop in a Box videos that they shorted me a pop, they forgot stuff, uh, you know, we got weird stuff, stuff that wasn't on our list, but I have never gotten two boxes from them in one single month. But guys, before we get to opening up these two boxes, if you have not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button real quick for us. We are getting very close to 300 subscribers, and a lot of you people who watch our videos are not even subscribed, so go ahead and just subscribe to the freaking channel, guys. We do a lot of fun Funko content over here, and I hope that you guys are enjoying what you are seeing. All right, now that that is out of the way, let's go ahead and open up this first box that they sent me. And when I got this box, I was thinking, I don't know, it seems kind of small. Do you think three pops could actually fit in here? And I was, I was kind of trying to go. I was like, maybe they could. I'm not really sure. But, uh, you know, I guess I would just have to open it up and find out. And I'm actually glad that I didn't open it up the other day because then I would have really been confused, you know. But who knows? Maybe there is three pops in here. I don't even know what to expect at all. But... Here we go, guys. We got our handy dandy little kniffy, and uh, we are going to go ahead and open up this first box that we got from Pop in the Box, and we are going to see what the heck is inside of this thing. So let's go ahead and find out, guys. Here we go. All right, so I am feeling inside, and guys, there seems to only be two pops in this box. So I don't know why the heck they did that. And I was actually looking at the addresses from both of these boxes. Let's go ahead and see. I'm going to shut this real quick. This one says that it came from Kentucky. And this one down here says that it came from New Jersey. So I don't know what the heck is going on. And this one actually says pop in a box, whereas this one just says THG Kentucky, which is what it normally says when you get your pop in a box subscription. So I don't know what the heck is going on, guys, but here we go. We are going to see what this first pop is in the first box that we got. I'm not sure if I've got the window, but here we go, guys. First one, first box, three, two, one. And we got Butters as Margarine. Dang it, guys. I already have this one. I, like I said before, I keep forgetting to go back into my pop in a box and thumbs down or, or just say that I already got the ones uh, that I've, you know, already purchased that I'd had on my list. And this is one of them. I think I picked this up on Hot Cash on one of my, like, recent Hot Cash videos. Either way, still a great pop. And if you don't already know, we did recently open up a Whatnot store. That's going to be Much Pops on Whatnot. If you've got the app, you can just go ahead and search us there. So we will probably be putting this one up on the Whatnot if any of you guys are interested in picking this up for your collection because it is a fantastic pop from a very funny episode. But for me, I've already got this one, so I definitely don't need to keep two. But let's go ahead and find out what the second pop is in this very first box. All right, you guys, I'm pretty sure I've got this facing the correct way. So here we go. Pop number two from box number one. Three, two, one. And there we go. Who is this? This is going to be Joe Elliott from Def Leppard. I don't remember putting this one on my thumbs up list. Pop in a box. What are you doing out there, Pop in a Box? I don't know if I thumbs up this one because I'm not a huge Def Leppard fan. Maybe I did by accident because I did... Oh, you know what? Maybe. Because when I very first started collecting Funkos, I wanted to 
pick up every single character in the rocks line so maybe i did actually thumbs this one up just because it would be one to complete the set that's very possible i don't know if i can go back and actually look to see what i have thumbs up but nonetheless this is a really cool looking box and i definitely even though it's kind of a simple pose i do like the pose that they put on this figure let me get a little bit closer so you guys can see that there we go on the back that's going to be the rest of the band and like i said this box actually just looks really awesome so there we have him again, Mr. Joe Elliott from Def Leppard. And fun fact, I actually got to see them perform one time when I was working at an amphitheater uh, in my early 20s. I'm still in my 20s, but my early 20s. <laughs> but yeah, that was a fun night. I don't remember who they played with, but it was a good show. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and move on to that third box. It felt like there was only one pop in there. I don't know if it's going to be a bigger pop, maybe like a jumbo, maybe a six inch. Who knows what it's going to be, but we're going to find out. Last box, last pop. Let's see what we got. All right, guys, here we go. We are cracking in to the final box to see what we actually got. And I know you're not supposed to cut towards yourself, guys. You almost saw a massacre happen, a self-massacre. Thankfully, we are okay because we don't have health insurance, guys. <laughs> and YouTube isn't paying the bills yet. <laughs> So, I can't be hurting myself. I just can't. <laughs> can't take time off of work and stuff. <laughs> All right, guys. Here we go, though. Last box. Let's see what we feel inside. Maybe there's going to be two things in here. Wouldn't that be cool? So, we got some packing material. And it seems like there is only one pop. Why did they do that? Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. If you have a pop in a box subscription box, did you also get two boxes this month? Like... Is that just something that happened? I, I don't even know. I, I didn't even know that they had two separate locations, but like I said, they came from two different states. So I don't know what the heck happened, guys. But without further ado, we are breaking in to the third and final pop of the November Pop in a Box monthly subscription box. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Is it something good? Let's see, and oh, oh, hey! I think this is actually the Deadpool that they just restocked. This is going to be the Pop in a Box exclusive Lady Deadpool. That is awesome. Now, I definitely don't think that I had this thumbs up, so Pop in a Box is really just sending me for a loop right now, but this is actually a really cool pop, and I'm, I'm pretty excited to find this one. So there we have him slash her right there, Lady Deadpool. Let's go ahead and see on the side right there. You can see that uh, they are carrying the two swords, got the little wig going on up there, and there's even some boobage going on, so that's kind of fun. <laughs> and then on the back, we just got a little uh, half glam right there with the Deadpool logo. Very simple box, but a very cool figure. And I was not expecting to get this one at all, but I am super excited. I'm not trying to collect all the Deadpools, but I do love a Deadpool when they show up in the collection. So very cool. Now I know I forgot on the last couple videos to do Values, but let's do some values and see what we are actually looking at for this month's box. All right, you guys, so we are back and we have got some values to share with you today. So first up, we have the Butters as Margarine and she is going to be $10. Next up, we had Joe Elliott from Def Leppard and he is coming in at $13. And finally, guys, we have the Pop in a Box exclusive Lady Deadpool coming in at $20. $2. So all of those added up together gives us a total box value of $45. Now off of a $30 subscription box, that is an extra $15 in value and I cannot complain about that at all because I have definitely done worse in the past. So all in all, not a very bad box this month. But guys, if I did have to pick a favorite from this month's box, it is definitely going to be the Lady Deadpool, and even though I did not have it on my thumbs up list, it still is a very cool pop, and like I said, one that was unexpected, so even kind of cooler, this definitely was a mystery coming out of the monthly Pop in a Box subscription box. So go ahead and comment down below and let me know which pop was your favorite from this month's box. And after you do that, make sure you give that like button a sexy little spank, and don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. I do try to put out two videos per week, usually on Tuesdays and Fridays, and we do try to make them as fun and entertaining for you guys as possible. So, if you enjoyed going through the mystery of two Pop in a Box subscription boxes, even though it really came out to just one, even though it was two boxes, I don't know what the heck was going on, but if you guys enjoyed that and you want to see more Funko content from me in the future, I really hope to see you guys again soon on the next one.